Hey everybody, Tim here with your 1245 Prayer Life devotional for today. It is Monday, November 2nd. Uh, we have launched into the month of November already. I hope all of you enjoyed your weekend. There was a lot going on with Halloween and uh, daylight savings time as we rolled the clocks back. Um, I just want to lift up a couple things for, for you as before we jump into our reading from today. And uh, a few things are... Uh, on Saturday, we had our Halloween parade for our young families and also the public. Uh, so people dressed up uh, in their Halloween costumes and uh, we had a parade throughout the parking lot. Uh, we had also people that decorated their trunks and uh, it was a safe um, trick-or-treating event where the kids at the end of the parade uh, received a bag of candy and goodies uh, to go with them for the day. So thank you to all the volunteers and everybody that participated in, in that wonderful event. On Sunday, I also want to lift up that our 10th grade confirmation class uh, had their affirmation of baptism. So they were confirmed uh, with their class and also just their immediate family. And so it was a wonderful service and a blessing to be a part of this faith milestone with all of them. And I just want to thank all of you uh, that have supported them uh, as they've grown up and even over these last three years in this confirmation class as you've supported them and prayed for them and will continue to support them um, as a part of our faith family. And so thank you to everyone uh, and I encourage you uh, to... Hopefully in the future here, uh, see pictures from that event and also more of a follow-up. So, but today, to start our prayer lives together um, this week and on this Monday, I'm going to be reading from the book of Joshua. And I get to read from uh, chapter 4. You are encouraged to read the entire chapter if you so choose. Uh, but I'm going to read verses 1 through 9 for you today. Uh, and so if you'd like to follow along, you sure can. Chapter 4, verse 1. When the entire nation had finished crossing over the Jordan, the Lord said to Joshua, Select twelve men from the people, one, of, one from each tribe, and command them, Take twelve stones from here out of the middle of the Jordan, for the place where the priest's feet stood. Carry them over with you and lay them down in the place where, where you camp tonight. Then Joshua summoned the twelve men from the Israelites, whom he had appointed, one from each tribe. Joshua said to them, Pass on before the ark of the Lord your God into the middle of the Jordan, and each of you take up a stone uh, on his shoulder, one for each of the tribes of, of the Israelites, so that they may be a sign among you. When your children ask in time to come, what do these stones mean to you? Then you shall tell them that the waters of the Jordan were cut off in front of the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord. When it crossed over the Jordan, the waters of, of the Jordan were cut off. So these stones shall be to the Israelites a memorial forever. The Israelites did as Joshua commanded. They took up twelve stones out of the middle of the Jordan, according to the number of tribes of the Israelites. As, as the Lord told Joshua, Carry them over with them to the place where they camped, and laid them down there. Joshua set up twelve stones in the middle of the Jordan, in the place where the feet of the priests bearing the Ark of the Covenant had stood, and they are there to this day. All right, so just a few reflections that I have for you uh, today before we pray. Um, maybe some of you. Uh, have some stones or some memorials or or souvenirs uh, or things that you have taken from places where you've been in life. Um, I know uh, when people take trips, uh, many times they want to bring something back. It might be a shell, it might be some sand, it might be some rocks. Uh, something uh, to remember their time together, to share the story of where they've been and what they've done. And that holds true with this story today. Those rocks, uh, when it talks about the children, when they ask, uh, the Israelites will be able to share uh, about where they've been, what happened exactly, and why they have those stones and, and what they represent. 
Uh, and so my challenge for you today on this Monday, when you're done with work, done with school, um, or just have some time uh, to take a break, see if you have anything at your house uh, that you uh, that tells a story, um, something that maybe has been passed on, something maybe that you've uh, picked up on some of your trips or uh, throughout your journey of life um, that tell a story. Uh, and if you have a family or maybe some friends close by, uh, share that story with them. Or just take this time to reflect back on, uh, on what that means and why you still hold on to those uh, important things today. Uh, can I pray for us as we wrap up our time together and we start this week off, hopefully on the right foot? Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to thank you uh, for the gift of today, the brand new start to a week. I pray that you give us uh, the strength and energy we need uh, to be our best selves and, and to live for you this week. I pray that you watch over our nation as we have an important election coming up. Be with all the elected officials uh, and everybody um, with, with what's going to be coming this week. I also pray uh, that we take a little bit of time uh, today to think about the journey that we've been on, places that we've gone, uh, and, and take out some of those old photos or maybe some of those souvenirs or things that we brought back or maybe some of those memorial stones that we know of in our lives. Let's take time to visit them. Let's take time to reflect upon it. And then let's take time to share those stories, if not today, hopefully in the near future. I pray that you watch over each and every one of us and you keep us all healthy and safe until we're able to meet again. In your name I pray, amen. All right, thanks for joining me and I hope you have a great Monday.